Well, good Monday morning, everybody. It is October 18th, 2021, and it is a absolutely beautiful fall morning here in Lake City. And today they are starting to do the tuck pointing on the church building. So praise God, uh, we didn't expect that to happen this year with all the craziness in the world, but they are going to get the tuck pointing done. So uh, we apologize for any inconveniences that we deal with while we're doing this, but hey, it's going to beautify the building and what a blessing that is plus protect it and keep it going for for another 90 some years for this building that we that we love here in lake city um so today we are in the 35th verse to the 40th verse of the sixth chapter of john's gospel and we are continuing on where he's talking about the bread statements this is the bread of life statement and uh, we're going to hear in verse 35, get to the very first of the seven I am statements. There are seven of these as we go through John's gospel. And probably what I'll do is I'll probably wait till we get to the seventh one, and then we'll go back and we'll review all of them in synapses, perhaps as, a, as one day's devotion. I don't know. We'll see what I come up with as I go along here. Uh, but this is the first. We've come to I am. Uh, so Jesus is telling them, uh, explain through metaphor, a little bit about what he is and who he is so that we might better understand. We left off on uh, Friday morning uh, devo doing the devotion from Ogden, uh, and uh, we, what we left off with there was he's talking mm -hmm. about the bread from heaven sent down. They were questioning him. This is following, remember, the feeding of the 5,000, and they followed him across the Sea of Galilee when he walked on water, and the crowd followed him over uh, looking for another free uh, free handout, another another more free food. Free food. You, know, you offer free food, you'll get a crowd. It holds true today, doesn't it? Um, so they uh, have followed him over there, and he's chastising them uh, about that they're looking for food to feed their physical body when what he really is offering is food for their spiritual body, eternal food, food forever. Um, and we've mentioned a little bit on Friday about the Lord's Prayer. I'm not going to go over that again, but go back and listen to that one if you like. Um, and uh, that should be should be easy to find on YouTube or on Facebook. Just scroll down on Facebook or on YouTube. Um, it's on my, my Facebook or my YouTube channel on YouTube. Everything's archived there. All of the devotions. Uh, so let's jump right into chapter 6, verse 35 to 40, and get going. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. But I say to you, or said to you, that you have seen me and yet do not believe. Everything that the Father gives me will come to me, and anyone who comes to me I will never drive away. For I have come down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I should lose nothing of all that he has given me, but raise it up on the last day. This is indeed the will of my Father, that all who see the Son and believe in him may have eternal life, and I will raise them up on the last day. All right. He is the bread of life. And he's not talking about feeding you for a day. He's talking about feeding you for eternity. And this is very likened to, remember back to the Samaritan woman at the well that we had earlier in John. Um, it's very it's much a similar thing. He's going to give you the eternal, this, this water. That you, once you drink it, you never thirst. Here you give this food, and you're never going to hunger again. You are fed with the food of God, the food of Christ, the body of Christ. And of course, as uh, you know, following the disciples' um, uh, tradition here at Woodlawn uh, and the Baptist, but the disciples particularly put a really strong focus on the communion table. Um, some folks that have come to us from other from other uh, uh, devotion or denominations, other other faith traditions, I should say, uh, from other faith traditions, they look and say, "Why why we do that every day?" I mean, is that cheapen it? No, it's it's because for 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 the disciples' tradition for. For the, the Stone Campbell tradition, really, um, and and it's that way across the board. Not just the disciples denomination, but those that are the Campbellites that follow that that tradition. They still do. The, they also do communion once a week. Um, I've been in Lutheran churches. In fact, my you know when I was a Lutheran many years ago, my favorite Lutheran church that we attended in those days was a Lutheran church that did communion every week, and I thought that was wonderful. 
I think it's wonderful as here at Woodlawn because it, that's the focus. It's that table. It's that bread. It's that bread of life that you share that body and that you're part of the body. You consume the body. You are what you eat, guys and gals. It's that way in this real world. It's also that way in the spiritual world. The spiritual food that you eat is the spirit that you are. It's that spirit that's within you. So you eat the spiritual food of Christ. And that's what he's saying. You will never be hungry again. You will never be thirsty again. If you drink the cup, the cup of covenant, the new covenant in my blood. Um, so that is what he's talking about here. He also talks about him that, that anyone that the Father has given to him, he's not going to lose. So that's inclusive language. It's not exclusive language. He's not going to drive anybody away. Anybody that comes to him is welcome. You are part of that body. You are welcome at that, at that communion meal, at that communion table. And that what an amazing blessing that is. What an amazing thing that is. It's open to all. God calls all, as I say. He does not drive anyone away. If we fall away, it's of our own volition. It's our own arrogance. It's our own egos that get in the way of our salvation. It's not um, It's not Jesus, for crying out loud. He has come with bread for all. He is offering it up freely. That's, that is that's a eternal life. That's salvation. Why wouldn't you take it? That's the question of the day. So, that's where I'm going to leave you. Again, this is one of the, this is the very first of the seven I am statements. Watch for them as we continue to work our way through John. I'll try to point them out. If I don't point them out, point them out and remind me in the, in the statements. But once we get through all of them, I think I'll, I'll do a, do, we'll, we'll do a devotion where we recap all of them or maybe a series, a couple of days or a week or something of devotions where we recap them all. So with that, I'm going to let you go. Don't forget the tickets for the, the uh, Harp Twins concert. It's in reverse, but if you hold it up, the, your phone up to the mirror, your computer up to the mirror, you'll see it. The Harp Twins, I've got my shirt on today. The tickets are on sale. We've sold a lot of tickets yesterday at, after worship, but please come in. We still have more. Um, coming next week or this weekend, they will go on sale to the, uh, the, the world at large, and I suspect that we'll have a, a, a large run on them. So you do want to get your tickets here if you're a member of the congregation uh, this week or give me a call. I've got a few held back for folks that have told me they want some. So do give me a call um, or come on in. All right. Have a blessed day and please, please, please be a blessing to someone today. We'll see you all in the morning. Bye-bye.